Alright, so what is going on guys? X here with another video for you guys and today we're going to be talking about the different, the best pistols to use on pistol rounds. More specifically, the best pistols for different types of players to use on pistol rounds. And we're going to be talking about the different sprays on the pistols, how different players may use the different pistols and which pistol is best for you. So first of all guys, we're going to be seeing the spray pattern of each weapon, each pistol weapon. So let's just go ahead and start with the Glock and this is on automatic by the way guys. So as you guys can see, it is actually really, really good. Let's go ahead and change it to burst fire mode, guys, which is something I would not suggest you guys do, but let's just see how this does. And this is, and this, guys, is why most people do not change it to burst fire mode. The next weapon we're going to be doing is the dual barrettes, which is something that I do not really favour. I don't really use them much, but let's just see how they do. Well, they're not as bad as I thought they were since I've never used them, but um, they have pretty good clip, so uh, if any of you guys would like to use that, uh, go ahead. The well, next weapon we're going to be doing is the P2000, and uh, yeah, let's just see how this one does. This and the USPS are in a constant battle, and um, personally for me, I think the USP wins, but uh, let's just see how it does. I think that the P2000 is doing really, really well at the moment. Um, I think it has like almost the exact same spray pattern as the Glock. So yeah, that's really good. One guys we're going to be doing is the USPS and yeah, let's just see how this one goes. By the way guys, as I said, this is one of my more favourite ones as the spray pattern is absolutely beautiful. It's almost 98% like, accurate, so yeah, that's really really good. Alright, so for the next one we're going to be doing guys is the P250 and yeah, let's just get right into this one. And again guys, this one is a really really good one, so yeah, I'd suggest this one as well. Right, guys, so for the next one we're going to be doing the CZ75, and yeah, let's just see how this one goes as well. So yeah, the CZ is not too bad by the way guys. Um, for uh, auto, it's um, actually pretty good if you tap fire with it. Alright guys, so for the next one we have the Tech 9 and this one is a fan favourite because it has good clip and it's really really accurate, but let's just see how accurate it is. So I guess it is a fan favourite, it has good clip and it's very very accurate, so yeah, I would suggest this one to anyone playing offensive. For the final pistol guys, I have the 5.7 and let's see how the spray pattern for this one is. So the spray pattern for the 5.7 is actually really really good guys, and um, it's really really good for offensive and it's really really good for headshots, so yeah, this one's really really good as well. Alright guys, so for the next one we're going to be doing my personal favourite, the Deagle, and um, I really like this one because headshots are like basically heaven with this one. So let's just see the spray pattern on this. This thing is basically a hand sniper guys, this thing is absolutely freaking epic. Alright guys, so this is one of my least favourite ones after the patch, and I think most of you guys know about the patch. And it really, really freaking destroyed this gun. So let's just see how it does. Alright guys, so it's not... Well, it is pretty terrible, guys. But the first three shots or so were really, really accurate. Which is quite impressive. From this gun, I would say myself. By the way guys, the console command for my custom crosshairs will be in the description if you guys want to go ahead and use it.